today before we get started talking about the next issue i wanted to thank people for their work on the last issue which is a more stressful one than i can remember pretty far back and i think as lily put it on instagram today if you're gonna read any issue of the campus this might be the one i mean there's like a lot in there but yeah thank you all for your hard work on like i don't know an issue that happened to coincide on like a lot of really intense things um and i'm hoping that the next one isn't going to be like that but maybe tony do you want to <laughs> tell me that's not true i don't think it'll be that okay great <laughs> what's up in news <laughs> anyway so all of those folks come together meet um and that's when they tell me what stories are going in that issue. Damage in Atwater. We're doing a seven questions article. Vaccination and booster shot clinic. Bread loaf students. Theater Thick Tank. The U Power Spin class. Kat Harrison, class of 2019. Also, we're like getting the highest COVID numbers in Vermont we've ever had. The French Dispatch. Students who are still studying remotely that got pushed from last week. We are previewing every winter sports team. I'm very much in favor of doing an endowment editorial, but I do think we should editorialize on Goodrich Farms. Yes, Jake. Honestly, I think it should be the endowment. Like... Uh, you think it should be Goodrich? Yeah. So just our whole team of editors meet in the office, and we kind of do the same, the same thing that we did on Thursday where we go over all of the stories for the week. On Monday we have our editorial board meeting. The editorial gives us a space to voice our concerns and to express what we're feeling not just as journalists but as students and as members of the community. A common concern is that the administration doesn't know what students want and so having us being able to straight up tell them like this is what we need and this is what we want I think can be helpful. Um, I think there are some issues where maybe they don't necessarily want to hear what we need or want. We were in editorial this year over kind of the pressure to really over fulfill yourself after COVID. And I think so many students picked that up and said, oh, wow, this is exactly how I feel. And they hadn't yet known how to articulate that. We have a responsibility to like highlight different stories on campus and kind of represent different sides of student experience, the faculty experience, the staff experience in a really equitable way. It's a chance to kind of like give voice to people and that like each editorial decision that we make has a consequence. I think we're very aware of that. And so kind of choosing which voices to elevate um, and kind of just choosing sort of what stories we tell is really important. But yeah, so like sections will meet with the writers of articles. A lot of my Mondays are actually spent sort of checking up with people. And if it's a lot more casual, like a Tuesday night would be where I'm like checking in to see what people are working on, answering any questions people have. Around 4.30, our layout editors show up to our, or just like sometime in the afternoon, our layout editors show up to our office and start working on like the physical copy of the newspaper. Um, so they um, start taking the articles and putting them onto the pages, usually around like two, three in the morning, between like one and three in the morning, we make ourselves like a checklist of the things that need to be done the next day. How do you manage covering a community that you yourself are a part of. I didn't really think about it until earlier this year when we were called into a meeting with the administration the same time we got the news about the death of a student. I think that we are definitely expected to be journalists during that time. It's like a harder switch than it normally is to switch into journalism mode for me and I think that I wish I'd been acknowledged as a student at that time as part of the community. On Wednesday we come in and like, you know, we wait on those adjustments to be made and once those adjustments are made to the articles, we read them and we replace them. So by five o'clock we have to turn in the print version to our printer, which is um, the Press Republican newspaper in Plattsburgh, New York. Four, eight, twelve. That's the newspaper. At 7 a.m. our newspapers arrive and are distributed by the crew team to the stands around campus. There is definitely an impact that's had, whether or not it's like widely read or even if it's just one person that reads it, like at the end of the day, I think that like as long as you're able to impact at least one other person with what you're writing, then it's a successful piece.